The presidency is not Garba Shehu. The presidency is not even Muhammad Buhari. The presidency is an institution. And that institution must not be seen in any way whatsoever supporting someone who has been seen, who is now known to have been a terrorist sympathizer. We cannot be a nation that allows people who support terrorism to be out there in our public domain as public servants. We cannot have a minister of a sector that is so sensitive as per our information. Everything under that sector be someone who is a terrorist sympathizer. Whether has been or still is or whether he had repented or not repented, that is not the issue. The issue is that our presidency, which is an institution, must not be seen in any way supporting and conniving with a terrorist sympathizer. You cannot come and tell me that Pantani was a child when he made those statements. He wasn't a child when he made those statements. He wasn't a teenager when he made those statements. He wasn't a young adult when he made those statements. He was a fully-fledged adult. I was pregnant in 2001 with my last child when 9-11 happened. When Taliban issue was all around, that child is going to be 20 December this year. That child is already an adult, talkless of somebody who is about my age at that time. I was born in 1973, and that's about the time that also Pantami was born. So we were not teenagers when he made those statements. He was an adult, a developed adult with his mind, and he knew what he was doing. That today he has been found out. Today he has been found out and he's apologizing. It's not a reason for presidency to come out and make such statement that they released today, signed by Gerber Shehu. We must not be a nation that allows terrorists and those who sympathize with terrorism to be our ministers or in our public offices. How do you think they're going to look at you around, around the world? That you come from a country of terrorism? Our government has been behaving in a terrorist manner. And today we see supporting those who support terrorism. If Pantami wasn't found out, would he have apologized? Would he have told us he had apologized? Would he have heard any of that? For how long has he been blackmailed with this information? For how long have our country been put in dear, in dear situation because of this information? How do we continue like this? The presidency should not dare the people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And let me tell every one of us, we are all in this and this affects every one of us. My daughter was born in 2001. She's going to be 20 this year. I cannot put her information in the hands of somebody who supported terrorism by the time she was being born. I cannot put her information in the hands of somebody who, who supports who support the terrorist act. Terrorist acts of terrorists that have terrorized the world and put all of us in this, this dear situation that we are in today. We travel as Nigerians, we looked upon one kind. And today we're going to add the chug of terrorism. And we have a government that supports terrorism and people who sympathize with terrorism. How is that going to work? That is not going to work. Pantami must go. That's the issue. Terror, terrorism is not something to be joked with. Terrorism is not something you support as, a, as an adult and then you come. All of a sudden, you no longer support it. He wasn't an impressionable teenager when he made those statements. And let me tell you, the police that they used to come out and attack people who protest. They're already coming for you, right? And they will come for you. For the military, if you think this is none of your business, it's your business also. They're already coming for you. They're already coming for you. And they will come for you. We are here now today. All of us have been made vulnerable. All of us have been made vulnerable. Where do we know our information has been sent to? Where do we know our information has been sent to? This is the time for the trade unions to come out. This is the time for the trade unions to come out. This is the time for the professional bodies to come out. This is the time for the student union to come out. This is the time for every Nigerian to be concerned because this affects all of us. What all the people are they harboring there? What all the sympathizers are they harboring there? We cannot look away. Pantani has to go. And that's as simple as it is.